Hey you guys, and welcome back to another video. Now, before I begin, I just want to thank you all so, so much for all your support with my videos. I've been getting a pretty consistent amount of views, even when I don't post, which is sort of insane. When I look at my analytics, it says that I have officially surpassed 200 watch hours, which is amazing, and I keep getting like about 200 views per day. Granted, most of those come from like two or three videos, but still, I'm just so appreciative for any growth on my channel. I've also managed to reach like 6 or 7 subscribers, which I really appreciate as well. My goal is to hit 100 subs by the end of the year, and if any of you watching this could please press the subscribe button, it would mean the world to me. Thanks so much, now back to the main topic of this video. Now today you guys, we're going to be talking about someone that is pretty huge in the commentary section of YouTube. She is someone that I have sort of been following for over a year now, and that someone is Shannon better known as Creepshow Art. She is an artist and a commentator who speaks her mind on a number of topics on her channel. She is a bit of a social justice warrior who likes to portray herself as being a little holier than thou, which is, in part, what totally became her Achilles heel, but more on that later. Now, recently, Shen has been exposed for basically being a bit of a troll online. She's posted some pretty toxic things on a forum called lolcow.net, I think, under several fake accounts. Shannon, who is oftentimes virtue signaling and trying to come across as the most PC person online, turned out to be a hidden troll with a bit of a mean streak. She's been exposed for not being the nicest of people and for having said some pretty controversial things about a number of influencers, Twitch streamers, and fellow commentators. She's also been exposed for self-promoting her videos by using these fake accounts she had on this forum and posting them as if it's not her and just a level-headed fan of hers and her, her content wanting to discuss the subjects being spoken about in her videos. But the self-promotion bit wasn't what most people were shocked about. People were mostly shocked that Shannon made some pretty controversial and mean comments about a number of creators. In her posts, she was saying some rude and derogatory comments about a number of creators and social media influencers. She even went after the Twitch streamer Saikuno. Yeah, that's Saikuno. You know, the guy who, if you've ever watched any of his live streams on Twitch, you know that he's probably the sweetest and most zen person out there. So it was pretty uncalled for for Shannon to actually come for him, especially when it was for something so shallow. Shannon basically dissed his skin, which is something Saikuno has been pretty self-conscious about his entire life. He even avoids social interactions in part because he has a lot of confidence issues. He constantly claims that he thinks he is unattractive and that he may never find love and stuff, so coming for his looks is pretty low. Especially when Shannon herself claims she has some like self-confidence issues. You'd think that she would understand more than anyone else that coming for people's looks really hurts. She should know more than anyone that insulting an insecure person's looks online is never okay. Actually, even insulting a confident person's looks online isn't alright. Just dissing anyone on their looks is pretty low, and it usually indicates that you have nothing else to criticize someone about other than their looks, because it's like low-hanging fruit and you probably can't flesh out a proper insult or argument against them. Now, what is most weird about all this drama is that Shannon didn't just insult or come after other content creators. She was also frequently dissing herself on that forum. Now, I'm not sure if she was doing that to try and convince people on that forum that this account is unrela unrelated to her or whatever, but she went in on herself a number of times. Now, most commentary videos talking about this whole drama have pointed out that she was probably dissing herself as a way to mask her identity on those fake accounts and as a way for her fake online accounts to seem impartial to her when they promote her content on the forum but I actually think that there's something a little deeper to the self-hate comments. A part of me is sort of sympathetic to Shannon because writing a hate comment about yourself, whether for strategic purposes or not, is actually pretty degrading. I can't help but feel like Shannon suffers from some deep-rooted self-hate issues. I mean, anyone who is that willing to degrade others online is probably dealing with self-esteem issues regardless, but to even make some hate comments about yourself as well it just feels a little pathetic, and it makes me wonder if Shannon has some sort of pent-up hatred for herself or for who she portrays herself to be online as being like Creepshow Art. Like maybe Shannon just genuinely does not enjoy the public persona she's built. 
I can totally see that portraying yourself to be this PC virtue signaling, social justice warrior, social commentator, hero online all the time can be taxing. And maybe she sort of resents building her channel around that persona, or attracting the kind of audience she's attracted over the years. Having such an audience can be taxing as it is an audience that is so willing to cancel others if their queen tells them that that person is a bad person. So Shannon probably felt like she herself was under a microscope a lot. She knew she ever slipped up and showed a different side to herself that the same audience that she's courted for so long could be the same audience that swiftly takes her down. Maybe Shannon felt like she couldn't be herself all the time because some parts of herself may seem ugly to the audience she's attracted. Additionally, I know some people may claim this is unrelated, but I actually do believe a person's past traumas do come into play whenever they are being toxic online. Shannon has made it no secret that she's had a hard life. She's experienced a lot of trauma, some of which she doesn't even share, which is totally understandable. But she shared in great detail her experience with homelessness. Shannon was basically kicked out and was homeless for years. Having no stability in life, no roof over your head, that can all be really traumatic. And it could be an experience that leads you to some form of like internalized rage. Now, I'm not saying this as a way to excuse her behavior or to say that because she was homeless that somehow makes what she said okay, but what I'm trying to do here is to create a parallel. People who face traumatic experiences at times internalize their traumatic experiences and have a hard time processing them. They sometimes even lash out in the most unexpected ways and I don't think anyone expected Shannon to be a secret online troll, right? I believe that Shannon creating fake profiles and being mean is a way for her to vent out her frustrations and rage under a masked persona because she's unable to do that with the persona she has presented the, to the public. The loving, social justice warrior persona she created known as Creepshow Art. A persona who was loved by literally hundreds of thousands of people. Because of this, Shannon might have felt trapped I felt like she wanted to break free from some of the constraints that come along when you are perceived as being perfect. Finally, I'd like to remind everyone that every single human being has a side to them that they are ashamed of. Each person has a side to them that they wish to suppress and that occasionally pops up and embarrasses us. I know for a fact that everyone watching this video has at least posted a couple of hate comments or made some shady jokes a number of times this year alone, whether it be on YouTube or Twitter. I'm not saying it's okay, I'm just saying it happens. We as humans have a plethora of emotions, expressions, sentiments for a reason. Each side of our be Each side of our being is expressed in our lived experience. We sometimes love, we sometimes love, we sometimes feel pain, and we sometimes make others feel pain. As dark and morbid as it may sound, all people have a potential to be evil. This is also not excusing her because a lot of the comments she did make cross several lines, but my point is we all have a dark side to us. We've all made cruel comments about someone else, we've all made untasteful jokes about others, but does that actually represent the real us? I don't think so. I think the real us is the facet that we present to the world most of the time. And the facet Shannon has presented to the world most of the time is the person behind Creepshow Art, not the person that made those gross comments on a random forum. Shannon is the person who's made it her life mission to expose dangerous people online. The person who's spoken out for a plethora of minority groups. The person who constantly helps small creators. The person who tries to uplift her community. The person who advocates for a number of meaningful reforms to aid society. The person who promotes and donates to a bunch of charities. A few toxic and disgusting comments can erase all of that, can it? It can't wipe away that entire legacy. In real life, do you judge people based off of like 1% of what they say? Or do you take the entirety of their interactions with you and then make a judgment about them as a whole? I know that I do the later. If a friend of mine says something toxic, I call them out and then I continue my day conversation with them in hopes that they don't repeat that behavior later on. If they repeat it, I call them out again and again until it is corrected out or until they are so annoyed by me that we just stop becoming friends. When that happens, it tells me that this person does not want to grow and that they are willing to remain steeped in their ignorance. But if they make proper efforts to change, if they monitor what they say, then why would I label them as bad people if most of my interactions with them have been amazing, and if when they are called out, they show a proper change and correction in their behavior? Why would you label someone like that as being a bad person? Why would you cancel them?
why not consider them as works in progress? My point is, none of us know what Shannon is dealing with. None of us know who she truly is. All we know is the comments she's made on that forum are disgusting, but they do not reflect her public persona. You know, the persona which actually has a huge influence on a major platform. The platform she has used for good all these years. Do we really discard her simply because she chose to be mean or cruel and to troll around on a random forum account for a little while? Or does that mean that I believe Shannon should be left with no repercussions? No. I think her temporary cancellation is pretty warranted and the subs that she's currently losing is evidence of that. But I also do think that after a little while, when she shows some effort, we should all like collectively give Shannon a big hug, shower her in some love, help her get to a place of true self-love, and then fully welcome her back after she displays a pattern of good behavior. There's no need for this dogpiling to keep going on for months on end. She got her backlash, she got read for filth on social media, she lost some subs, and she lost a lot of her credibility. I'm sure she's learning a lesson or two, okay? I don't think she'll make the same mistakes again, and that should be good enough. Let's all just give her some time and another shot when the time is right. We can't discard all these years of amazing content, amazing activism, and amazing commentary all because of one major slip-up. At the end of the day, Shannon is a person, and she's a lovely person based off of the persona she wants to present to the world. Let's not let the ugly side she's been hiding be the side that we presume to be the real her. Everyone has that side. Not everyone gets that side of them exposed and blasted to millions of people like this. Anyways, thanks so much for watching this video guys. Please, before you choose to like or dislike or to leave a comment, consider everything I've said as a whole, and then let me know what you think after all of that. Again, I'm not excusing her behavior or anything. I am saying that, you know, the backlash is warranted and she does have to face some kind of repercussions, but what I'm saying is that we can't let this moment be her defining moment. Otherwise, it wouldn't be fair. She's had so many years of, you know, amazing content, of amazing activism, and I don't know if we could just throw that all away or presume it to be fake. I think that everyone deserves another chance. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and remember, I be me, and you be you. Ciao.